In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can create AI agents that run on a regular schedule. It's very easy to configure, so let's go ahead and get started. AI agents that run on a schedule are perfect for repetitive tasks that you need to do every day, and they're also great for monitoring content on different pages online. And that's what we're going to build in this video. We're going to build an AI agent that tracks website changes over time, and it runs every single morning. And if there are changes, it's going to email us a summary of those changes. So as we begin to build, we are going to need to use uh, one of the AI module blocks. There's this great AI module block that's tracking website changes. And if we use this AI module, there are some things that we need to configure in the configuration panel on the right. We're going to need to include the website that we're going to want to track. And so let's say we want to track changes to OpenAI's news site. I can go ahead and just simply enter that URL. It already has some global variables and variable naming set for us. So unless uh, you want to change the names of those variables, I would leave those as is. And then we're going to need a destination for if it has changes and a destination for if it doesn't have changes. This is really easy. If it doesn't have any changes, we just want it to simply end the workflow. And let's say if it does have changes, we want it to send an email to us. Well, we can go ahead and add a new block. And this block is going to be the send email block. And in the send email block, we want to make sure that it's sending to our own email. I'm going to say uh, changes detected on open AI news. And now we can go back into our track website changes block and we will select the destination and make sure that if it has changes, it sends us an email. We can also add a detection prompt. So these are some additional instructions as to specifically what changes we're looking for. So I'm going to say any changes to the main content of the website. Specifically, we are looking for new news stories. There we go. And then we can save our output variable and we'll call this changes. And then we're going to copy this output variable, which is the summary of the changes. And that's what we want to include in the body here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste that in. And it's simply going to email us a list of those changes. So that's it for this block. Let's go ahead. After it sends the email, we're going to end the workflow. And what we need to do now is configure this to run on a schedule. I'm going to want to run this every single morning to make sure that I'm staying up to date with all of the new news coming from OpenAI's website. Configuring this is very easy and you will do this inside of the start block. So we'll click on the start block and then you'll notice that there are different run modes in this trigger section on the right. We're going to change our run mode from on demand to scheduled, and this is going to allow us to run this AI agent on a regular schedule. We can create that schedule simply by clicking on add. And from here, we can begin to generate our schedule. You just do this by typing in the schedule using natural language. And in fact, there are some presets here. So we're going to use every, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 a.m. And you can see that it generates the schedule here. Now, let me actually go ahead and I'm going to change this. I'm going to say every morning at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. is fine. And then you can also select your time zone. And I am in the West Coast in the United States. So I'm going to use this America Los Angeles time zone. You also have the ability to include launch variables. If you'd like, we'll have a separate video uh, covering launch variables and global variables. But for this build, you don't necessarily need to use launch variables. So we're going to leave that blank. And then we can click on generate schedule. Now you'll be able to see that this schedule is now generated for us every morning at 9 a.m. And we can see when the next run is happening and all of the future runs. And if we're happy with the schedule, we can go ahead and click save. So now our schedule is created and our AI agent is complete. Let's go ahead and test this out. We're going to preview this by clicking on the preview button and running in the debugger.
And since this is the very first time that we are tracking changes to this site, uh, we should be expecting an email in our inbox. So it's going to scan that website. It's going to scrape the content, compare it to the previous content. And if there are changes, we all should see an email in our inbox. So if we look in our inbox, we can see that there are changes to OpenAI News Detected. These are all the changes. It had nothing uh, to compare it to. So these are just the most recent changes, we can kind of ignore this first run. Let's go ahead and run this one more time. And I'm going to preview in uh, the debugger here. And this time we should be able to see that there are no changes, we don't get a new email in our inbox. And so if we look at this uh, debugger, it should uh, finish pretty quickly because there are no changes, you can see that the run has now completed. So if we look at the previous run here, Oops, let's see here. If we look at the previous run, you see that it does send uh, that message over to our email. And in the current run, it does not because there are no changes. So that is it for creating a schedule. You can configure that schedule inside of the start block by changing the run mode and setting the schedule. It is very easy to do and very useful for tasks like this. So that's it. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to drop us a like. If you have questions, leave a question in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates to Mind Studio. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.